All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me get my tactical goggles on here. We are ready to start the next episode of Cooking in Quarantine with Jesse. Okay. Now, I'm very excited about this episode because of a couple of reasons. It's late at night, and we're about to have breakfast. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. And then introducing the newest member of the Cooking in Quarantine team, the GoPro, Hetty. All right. Yes. We're going to have some amazing shots today so you can actually see what I'm doing instead of this far away view like it's been every episode so far. Okay. So as you can see, even though I look kind of funny, I've got my GoPro attached. All right. It's going to make a big difference on what you guys see. So let me go ahead. If you can see me, I'll wash my hands real quick. There's a little bit of soap. One, two, three, four, for TV purposes. 17, 18, 19, 175. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. So in this situation, we're going with the Idaho Spuds. Okay. The Nellie's Free Range Eggs. I just love when my eggs are free range, whatever that means. And we're going with the Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. Is it really country if it's gluten free? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. maybe a little un American there, gluten free. I'm just playing. Don't anybody get sensitive, okay? And then right here, let me turn my little GoPro on so you can see them better. Oh, there we go. We've got some bacon that I started cooking and biscuits that I started cooking and then my camera messed up. So for purposes of you seeing me putting them in the oven, here we go. These are going to be the first things we put in here. Oh, there goes that. Because they're going to take the longest and oh, Jesse always kind of makes a mistake sometimes about his time management when it comes to the kitchen. But today he's going to try to fix that. Let me put this timer about the four minutes that I missed. There we go. All right. So we are looking good. And one thing we have to look at here is the spuds. I'll, I'll use the GoPro. Let's see how we look on the GoPro. Pretty good, I think. All right. These bad boys, if you look, oh, there it is. I have to put them in hot water, 140 to 160 degrees in a bowl blah, 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 and then don't end up putting them on a skillet. So, I use this sweet little coffee pot right here. Okay, that's going to be my hot water. And okay, while we're waiting for this food to cook, we'll talk about what you need to survive in the kitchen. Okay. First of all, you have to pay attention to your short game, and we're not talking about golf, baby. Here we go. Short range. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, short range. Boom. All right. Then we come to Avengers Glow Sticks. Unless you've seen the whole series of Avengers, you won't be able to take these as serious as I do, okay? And for all the times I told people I don't want to watch it, and everybody convinced me, thank you. Now, you think this is just a kid's toy, but it could help you survive in the kitchen. Okay. Everybody knows this one. You walk by it in the dollar store, Walmart, wherever, you pay it no attention, and in times like this, you wish you would have bought 700. Okay. Everything's getting dark. You can tell the power's about to go out. You don't know if something having to do with the coronavirus will prevent the power from coming back on. You're scared to death. Everybody's running into each other, and you pull out the Instalight. Ching, ching. Then everybody calms down and gets in order. Okay. One of the fan favorites, coming to you short range, medium range, long range, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, get out of my kitchen. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the grenade. So, if you can see here in my pockets here, uh, and that combat apron I've got going on here, I've got these sweet pockets. So. 
I've got all my my weapons right there, but let's say I'm cooking some biscuits. All right, I'm like, oh, biscuits, get them out of the oven. And there's a threat to this way, and I don't have time to get to my stuff. I can just take this grenade right out of my pocket, pull the ring with my teeth, and do a sidearm throw, underarm throw, and eliminate any threats. Okay, love the grenade. And everyone's favorite. Oh, say can you see? Extendo flag. Gets my morale up every time. Okay. All right, so well, we got our biscuits and bacon in the, in the oven here. We need to let these hash browns soak for 12 minutes in this boiling hot water. Actually, it's not boiling. One. Oh, ow. Oh my gosh, that was my hand on camera. Stupid hash browns. Jeez. Ugh. That's going to hurt for a while, and I can't go to the hospital for fear of infection. Oh. Okay. That was, I mean, okay, I have a serious question for everybody. These coffee pots right here, have you ever poured, whether it's in a regular coffee cup or what I just did, have you ever poured out of one of these and then not go everywhere? I'm just wondering. I mean, every day, it's like a mission of mine. I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna pour a regular cup of coffee. So I'm sitting here like this and I go to pour and it's like barely going and all of a sudden it's all over everywhere. You know it's true, okay. Okay, so the hash browns. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and let's take a look at this gluten-free country gravy, okay. Gravy mix. Okay, so we can go ahead and blend this with one half cup of cool water, which I already have in there. And hopefully that won't burn me. Oh, I should turn on my GoPro. There we go. I wish I would have had my GoPro on when I burnt myself. It would have been such a better angle. <laughs> okay. All right, you get in there. All right, and we'll take our little mini whisk here. Check that out, man. It's pretty sweet. I should put, I, I'm gonna try to put in the video while I'm doing this, like some soothing music. Some soothing stirring gravy music. That would be cool. Surprisingly enough, usually a powder product when you mix it with cold water or cold water, it's lumpy and whatnot. But this is mixing, mixing very beautifully. Honestly, it's pretty crazy. Look at that. You can see it on the camera. Look at that. All right. Let's get our paper towel out here so we can look like we're very clean and organized. Okay. We'll flip that bad boy over. Now that we have this smooth country gravy going on. Put that right there, all right. Another thing we can do while we're waiting here is we could bring old Nellie's eggs over here, start cracking those bad boys, because we're gonna have some scramby eggs. Okay, some more paper towels, that's right. Because I'm the man, anyway. One. Two. Three, oh, look at me, I'm like a pro at this, the one-handed, have you ever seen anybody do the two-handed method with eggs like that where they just, oh man, dude, it's crazy. I've never been able to do that, and see, I was looking so good, now I just, yeah. They do the two, uh, like they hit the side with two eggs at the same time. But my left hand, my left hand's like a whole nother person. I don't even know what it's doing. It's just a rebellious hand that I can't trust. Anyway, I like using the side of this sink that you guys can't see as a trash can. All right, there we go. There's some more trash. There you go. All right. 
Now we're going to take this whisk that I washed off and we're going to whip these eggs up real good. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Make it to where it almost looks like a big bowl of orange juice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just playing. It kind of does look like orange juice, man. And if I can get these, <laughs> if I can get it stirred a little bit more, it's like, hey, son, you want a cup of orange juice? Sure, Dad. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, that's ready. Let's rinse that off again. Super sanitary like to prevent cross contamination. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everything's starting to spice up a bit. Okay? Because it's like this one of those males, kind of like the other ones, where once everything kind of starts hitting, everything hits. And here we come. We're coming to this moment. So our biscuits are ready, but everything else is not. So we're going to give them a little. You go to sleep now. Go to sleep here. Tuck you right on in there. There you go. Tuck them in. And try not to catch their little blanket on fire with the stove. There we go. Okay. And the microwave's beeping again. All right, guys, we're moving. We're moving along here. I'm going to go ahead and put these hash browns on the skillet. Actually, I'll take that back. As our water is boiling for the gravy, I'm going to go ahead and start with the gravy. Because the hash browns, according to their instructions, is only uh, six minutes on the skillet. Oh, there's the gravy in there. It seems like a lot of... Let me turn my GoPro on. I keep forgetting. Sorry. Unfortunately, with this, if you can see in here, a lot of the pepper that's probably supposed to be in there is still in the container, but it is what it is, apparently. And then, my next job is to stir vigorously until thickened. Let me double check that, because I like to double check my instructions about 16. Ooh, okay, we have uh, liftoff. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh, that's going to be a mess. Pour the gravy mix, then boiling water, stir vigorously. You're supposed to stir vigorously with a fork or whisk until thickened, remove from heat. Well, if I was to sit there and leave it on the heat right now and stir it, I would have molten gravy all over my hands. You guys saw that stuff, man. Let's see. I'll turn the heat down here. I'm not going to sacrifice my hand for some uh, gluten-free gravy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's doing it again. Look at this. Oh, this is horrible. Oh my gosh. Okay, somehow the gravy's got me confused. It says, uh, stir vigorously until thickened and then remove from heat. But if you put it on even the lowest setting of heat, uh, it starts exploding into the plant. One of them went into the plant there, or the cacti, whatever it is. So anyway, we're going to move on from that. Here we go. Hash browns in the, oh yeah, listen to that. What a beautiful sound. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this says here. Large nonstick, blah, 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 blah. Fry for six minutes, stirring every two. Okay. Let me flatten them out here at least so they have a chance. There we go. There we go. Every two minutes we'll come back to you and stir you right on up. And let's check our molten gravy. That's like a gluten-free volcano. Oh my gosh. Let's try it again just a little bit. This is your last chance, gravy. If you shoot another molten thing all up in my plants, I'm going to take you right. Oh, you're trying. I see you bubbling. Not as bad, though. Not as bad. Okay. Oh, guys, it's almost time to start the eggs. Okay, now that our angry gravy is uh, behaving, we're thickening up pretty good. Hash browns are looking good. 
We're going to hold off on the eggs just a second. Let's peek in this oven here on the kitchen. Looking pretty decent. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, I was walking around today around dinner time and I'm like, man, I don't have any energy to do anything. And Barb said, what about breakfast for dinner? And as soon as she said that, it was like, oh, it rejuvenated my soul, man, because I love breakfast for dinner. So I have to give her credit for this idea. And uh, she helped me prep some of this stuff before the video. So got to give her credit where credit's due, man. I said every two minutes, it's been about two minutes. We'll stir these uh, hash browns up and see what happens. Well, we're stirring apparently. We're in a stirring game right now. There we go. Oh yeah. While we're wrapping up here, I do have to thank, like I want to on every video I make, I thank everybody that's on the front lines of this disease. I can't name everybody because there's so many, but you know, the hospital, police, fire, rescue, uh, EMS, I mean, there's just so many, so many people to be thankful for and what they're doing for all of us so we can sit here and be safe. So I truly thank every single one of you. As you know, on the uh, cooking in quarantine, there's no shame in my game. And even though these Idaho spuds in this beautiful box have always plagued me every time I've tried to cook them. I can never get it right. They either taste like junk, they're the texture of a Frisbee, or like right now, let me turn on my cam here, right now where I followed the directions to a T and I said their cook time was six minutes, well, they've been sitting here uh, in this pan for about 10. I just don't get it, man. So if any of you have these these lovely things at home, will you please make a video for me and show me how to cook them? Anywho, the gravy's finally calmed down and behaving, so it's looking good. And we're still waiting on the Idaho spuds. All right, Barbara Downing's here to show me how she's going to fix my mistake. If you notice in this pan right here, let me see if it's showing. Uh, yeah, the whole bottom's coated. So anyway, so Barb, what did you do to fix this? Now you have to put more oil in the pan, which is not healthy, but that's hash brown. And then you get another pan so we can have a cooking surface. I heard a vicious rumor that you despise directions. I do not like directions. You're right. How dare you? And do you not know how we function here on the kitchen? That this is this is how you function on the kitchen <laughs> when you follow directions. Oh man. But I love you. So I will help you. They look better already. <laughs> okay. Soak this. Oh Lord have mercy. Let me, let me make sure I can get this pan in the shot what I've done to it. Laundry, not laundry soap. I saw gain. <laughs> a little dish soap. Oh my goodness. Alright, have you, you seasoned the hash browns? I haven't done them yet because they were uh, being mean. Ugh. Seasoning salt. Okay, seasoning salt. Be careful on the pepper, man. Not everybody loves pepper like you. Okay, well, I Ow. always... Hey, hey, when? 17, 18, 19, 20? <laughs> Ryan! Stop it. I always pepper your food, and you don't even know that I Okay, seriously. It. Barb, that's a little excessive. What if I was allergic? You're not! <sighs> you make fun of the gluten-free gravy enough, I'm going to pepper think, your I stuff. didn't think you were listening. Usually on the kitchen... She gets her headphones on and watches TV. You're on camera, by the way. How about a little Say bit hi. of garlic? I don't blame you for the garlic. There you go. Let it ride. Fine. Fine. Talk to the camera. Are and you then, serious? And then the special seasoning. Montreal steak. What? I don't. I don't know if I agree with this. 
Okay. I mean, but no. Okay. I, so, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have interjected in your in so your Lucas, cooking. Already, we have a brown. When I go to the beach, I have a brown bottom. <laughs> I like your brown bottom at the beach. <laughs> Are you still filming? Yes. Oopsie. Yeah. You shouldn't have said that. We'll have to silence it out with some music or something. No, it's okay. Ryan, I can't believe you don't even speak. Everybody likes you more than me. And all your, you, you all your can, girlfriends can know I like your brown bottom. <laughs> it's funny. I know. I wish that decaf would shut up. <laughs> oh, the bacon. Oh, okay. Oil. Oh, they look good. I have to be honest. I don't know if the Montreal steak would have flown with it with the oh, Lowry's. I didn't, I didn't put it in. That's how I always make them. Always. Oh, that's why I never let you in the kitchen. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I probably have bed head right now. Those look so good, or man. Couch, couch head. Let me make sure that they're in the shot really good. But oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh man. That's what happens when you let the wife in the kitchen. Stop. <laughs> okay, now I can actually start the eggs. I didn't think about that, so let me get the eggs rocking for a second here. Yeah, you just gotta keep. Alrighty then. This one. Yeah, this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have Ryan in the kitchen. We're on this camera right here, camera two. See? Top of your head. All right. Why don't you just say hey to everybody real quick? Hey. You have to look right here, not there. Hey. Hey. See? We have a new cam in the kitchen. Now see, look. We can see. Oh, look, we're cooking. Oh, you took my spatula. I have to be honest, I'm cool with getting shown up in the kitchen today because those hash browns are amazing. They're going to go in my belly, okay? So I'm totally cool with it, alright? So. But in my defense, I did follow the directions and it didn't work out for me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you Barb for the assist today. And I want you guys to look at this plate. I mean, I hope it's in focus. Oh my gosh, you, you got the biscuits and gravy, the hash browns, they look amazing. The bacon, the eggs. And I got the decaf brewing because it's a little bit late. And if I drink de uh, regular coffee late, I get crazy. So here we go. Let's move the mic out of the way. Some of the eggs. Mmm. Mmm, bacon, bacon, mmm, let's try Barb's hash browns, mmm, very good, mmm, biscuits and gravy, and trying to hurry, I forgot to pray, so, Father Lord, Heavenly, come in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day, I thank you for my family and how safe that we are right now and how safe we've been. And we just pray for hedge protection over my family and over this world. And we thank you for everybody watching. Please bless them. And just be with us and give us peace and help us lean more towards you. And we thank you for all your blessings. Forgive us for all our sins in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And we'll see you on the next one. God bless every single one of you. Good night.